Hello lovelies. So I have a few minutes while baby's out with dad. So I thought I would quickly do a voiceover because finding time to do voiceovers really is the reason I just don't get a chance to upload much anymore. But I'm trying much harder now. So this is actually my first Christmas card of the year. How exciting. Um, I've been really on a Christmas card bender. Um, okay, no, that's a lie. I've been on a Christmas supply bender. I've been lots of buying oh I've been buying lots of Christmas things and I'm not sorry I know it's only September but there's just so much pretty Christmas stuff out so this is actually a Stampin Up Christmas uh stamp set and oh I love it I have so many I'm excited for so many Stampin Up Christmas cards I really am I've got some really nice sets but this one I wanted to play with today so I started with um a red base okay so this is real red it's called it's a stampin up color and it's been put through uh, an embossing folder yeah i know right i'm using an embossing folder and then i've used a two inch punch to punch out um a circle and i'm going to stamp you see me futz around a bit because i love these ornaments but i only have a two inch punch i don't think i have circle dies and i would be able to cut a bigger circle if i did so it might be something i need to invest in but so the biggest I have is two inches. So I have cut this out and I'm going to put my greeting on here as well. So this card was actually based on a, um, a sketch. Oh, which reminds me, I have to put this up today. Otherwise, I, it's um, the Global Design something and they do a sketch every week. And this was this week's uh, sketch. I'll put the video at the end. I'll put the picture at the end of the video so you can see. And this was uh, my version of what I did with that. So I'm using real red the color in the ink pad and oh what is it evening evergreen i think it is i recently went on a bit of a bender and bought a whole bunch of new ink pads um soft sea foam and evening evergreen are going to be my christmas greens i just love them and think they're absolutely beautiful so that is why i specifically went and bought these colors for my christmas cards so this is my um my one in, my two inch circle that I'm going to put here but behind it I'm going to put some of this foliage I think it's really cute it comes in the um the stamp set oh what's the stamp set called oh I can't remember it's on the top of my head but anyway um this foliage comes with the stamp set as well so I'm going to fussy cut it out fussy cutting is the bane of my existence I hate it especially on this image because it's so fiddly but it is totally worth it this, I don't know if there's a die set that comes with it. I didn't think to look, but fussy cutting it, it does the job and it just looks so great. I have to admit, it's fussy cutting is worth the time if you, you really hate it like I do. I don't hate it all the time. I hate it on images like this where it's really in and out, but it's always worth it on those harder images. It's totally worth getting the scissors and taking the few extra minutes in my case and cutting it out. I did actually own, I stamped two of these, but I only ended up using one, which I was quite glad for. But the little one that I did in the, what color was it again? Soft sea foam, I think it is. It's my new favorite color, it really is. It's a beautiful, light, greeny sea foam color, fair enough, funnily enough. But yeah, so I'm cutting this one out and then I'm going to tuck it in behind my uh, two inch circle. I am gonna put my two inch circle up on foam dots and I'm also going to put some uh, ribbon behind it as well. I really, I had to actually start buying ribbon. I didn't have any in my stash because as a, primarily a scrapbooker, I don't use it. But um, yeah, recently I've taken up card making again. Uh, Stampin' Up to thank for that. I also want to use a lot of my Stampin' Up stuff for uh, scrapbooking. So I want to use the stamp sets on, sc on scrapbook pages. But there's just so much inspiration around on Instagram and Pinterest of all the fabulous cards people make. And um, yeah, like I said, I've been on a bit of a Christmas card inspiration bender. So many pretty things. So I had to invest in some ribbon because people do some really cool stuff with ribbon on their cards. So I've <laughs> recently got some ribbon. And then, yes, I'm going to put a bit of ribbon behind my, um, yeah, so I had to turn it over so I could fit my greeting on on the back. So, um, yeah, so I've done my greeting and I've got my little two-inch uh, foam dot poppy up thingy. You know what I'm trying to say. It's Sunday night, people. And now I'm going to just start tucking in the uh, little sprigs of foliage here, there, and there. 
and then um yeah like it's it's a really simple design but so effective really quite nice i really do love how this turned out so i've got my oh i even do the inside this one i'm very excited about i have recently started um oh what's the word like appreciating decorating the inside of um the card so i put some bling on there and then i'm going to do the inside which oh, i love how it turned out so i've just got some more of that um foliage i'm going to stamp it in the bottom and in the top corner i'm going to add a bit of red with those little um i don't know what they are these little spotty things from the front as well what are they um just like little I don't know. I, I know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. And then I've uh, stamped my greeting as well, all in the same colors. And that's it for my card. I absolutely adore this card. I love it and I cannot wait to send it out. I'm very excited for it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is a close-up of my gorgeous card and the inside is coming up. And I will add a photo of the sketch so you can see um, what I did. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.